Parsons, Bill Weber, Ray Dunlap, and John Kernan covering live Winston Cup action as the leader, Mark Martin, tries to work traffic, and now the second place car, Tony Stewart, trying to get beneath Joe Nemechek. Now, moments ago, a little bit of a contact off of turn two. Go down the corner, and there's the contact between Dale Earnhardt Jr. and the eight car and Jeff Burton in 99. Let's see what Parts Plus on for a camera show. There we go. Burton chases his car up the hill, and Earnhardt Jr. takes that spot. That was, thir that was 13th. And now Ned Jarrett, the next car to go a lap down, will be Jeff Gordon. He is in the 16th position. Mark Martin moves on the inside of him. Gordon, remember, lost the cylinder about 20 or 30 laps ago. Now he's up there in fourth position when he lost that cylinder. Now take a lap down. Tony Stewart now moved to the inside. And the four car of Bobby Hamilton on pit road, the Kodak crew now changing tires. They've already changed right side tires to go to the left side of the car. Well, this is a little earlier than I thought they would need to come in. John? I think this is just a little bit early for a scheduled pit stop for the four car because they had moved up into the top five, but it came in with four tires. I don't see any problem with the tires, so maybe they decide to come in a little bit early, short pick, get the fresh tires on, go out there and run a lot of hard laps, fast laps, faster than the leaders and make up some ground that way. To Bill Weber. Well, Mark Martin continues that on the racetrack and having a good run, but his car is still tight. So he just talked it over with Jimmy Fennick. They're going to loosen it up one more round when he pits for about 75 laps into this set of tires. Still maintaining the lead as they go around John and Freddy. Freddy, another lap down. More on the Bobby Hamilton pit stop with John Turner. I just talked to Danny Gill, the crew chief, and he says, yes, it was early. They were having a problem with the tire. Actually, a, a little bit of a vibration with one of the tires, so they thought they'd better bring him in in all four and get him back out on the racetrack. But a problem for the four car uh, is the tires. And we got a car in the wall. It looks like the car number nine of Bobby Hill, and the 18 car spins behind him. The point leader gets a little bit of a bump from behind, I think, and Bobby Labonte and here comes the leader. Bobby's going to lose the left. As the leaders go by, Bobby gives it back in gear and puts the foot on the throttle, but he will lose a lap by virtue of being tagged and spun in turns three and four. How quickly things can change. Right now, his hand's asleep. You see him moving, shaking his hand in there? His hand's asleep. At this racetrack, holding that wheel like that and trying to turn it so hard, your hand will go to sleep. Well, we had a report earlier that he was having cramps or what, his leg, and it could be that, that he was already, his hand was uh, cramping a little bit as well. It'd be hard to imagine you can get isolated cramps just in the lower extremities now. And the treatment of that would be hydration, but you can't get enough to drink in the race car here, and they don't have enough time in the pits, so they're, as you heard uh, Ray Dunlap say a little bit ago, they will consider getting possibly a, a stand-in driver for Bobby Labonte. Pit stops the order of the day. They head down pit road at 35 miles an hour. To you, Bill Weber. Mark Martin has the second place car fitting right in front of him. That's Tony Stewart. For Mark, again, one round out because his car is tight. Should be no changes for Tony Stewart. In fact, they've only made one slight air pressure just the entire night. Left side tires going on the six. Topping it off. Oh, now he's away. Stewart right in front of him. They will try to break down pit road. That looks like Rusty might have beaten both of them out. Looks like he had it right. And Rusty Wallace might in fact have beaten them both out. By virtue of being further down pit road, Rusty Wallace, then Martin, then Tony Stewart in that order as they exited the pits. And boy, Bobby Hamilton gets a tough, tough break, makes that pit stop trying to get some fresh tires on, and now he's a couple laps down. And John Kerner, what about Dale Earnhardt's pit stop? Right after the caution came out, Earnhardt told Kevin Hamlin that the handle on the car had just gone away. It was spinning really bad coming off the corner. He, that's why he thought he might have had a flat right rear tire, but that wasn't the case. So they came in, put on four fresh tires, made no chassis adjustments to the three cars. 
All right, the 18 cars in front of you, Ray. But Jerry, Bobby Labonte is not very happy about just what, what went on on the racetrack. He said his right foot is a terrible cramp. His left side is going numb. He wants a bunch of water here. And he has said he is going to stay in this race car if it kills him. He wants to finish this race right now. Bobby Labonte wants to win the Winston Cup Championship. And those are the kind of things that will help you win the Winston Cup title. Well, we are under caution for the sixth time on lap 320. Here's the incident up in turn three. Yep. There's a bump from David Green, the 94 McDonald's car. He hits Bobby Hill in the nine car. And as Bobby Hill comes across, we're going to see the 18 spin into this right side of your screen. Watch the 18 car now. Watch the 31 behind him. The 18 goes beneath Earnhardt. 31 comes in and hits the 18, spins him around. Now from the Interstate Batteries onboard camera, and what Bobby saw on his windshield. He's trying to go down to the inside of Dale Earnhardt. He thought he had that pass made, and all of a sudden, he gets hit from behind, and around he goes. He's trying to mind my own business and get down low. And Bobby's body was putting that car in first gear before it stopped. I mean, he literally had his first year good to go before it ever came to a stop sliding. Well, there are 13 cars in the lead lap. Bobby Labonte, one lap down, being shown now in 16th position. Back in a moment.